How's it going this evening, guys? Uh, this is Doug, Delta Oscar Uniform Golf. And um, this evening, uh, I'd like to... A few different things, actually. I'd like to show you... Uh, not necessarily ham radio related, but I would like to show you uh, how to install Cody. Uh, pretty easy, uh, like we did with uh, a lot of the ham radio uh, programs. I also want to show you just as easy how to remove uh, a program, um, basically in the same fashion. Uh, and in one of my last videos, uh, I downloaded a couple programs, one being GQRX, uh, and I never started it uh, for you guys, so I'm going to start that for you and show you that that runs fine. Uh, you did get to see the other SDR program, but uh, uh, I might go ahead and start both of them uh, just to show you. Uh, but anyway, uh, come up here to the Start menu, uh, down to Preferences, Add Remove Programs, and we're going to add Cody. Uh, Okay, enter. We're going to wait for it to search packages. Now, I'm not going to be able to open Cody for you uh, because the um, screen, um, the, the screen recording program that I'm running, uh, it'll show just a black screen for some reason. It will not uh, let me record while I'm operating Cody. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna uh, download the the main one here. Uh, apply password. Enter. And we're gonna wait for the packages to install. Um, um, but I'm gonna show you that it did download. I'm just not going to be able to open it for you guys. And uh, we're almost done here. And then we'll close out of this. Uh, and it is done. Close out of this. Come over here. Uh, and there it is. Right there. And if you want to add it to your desktop, right click. And click on Add to Desktop. Does open. Uh, like I said, the uh, screen capture program I'm running here uh, for some reason will not let me uh, operate it um, while I have Cody open. I tried earlier. Uh, so, removing uh, back down to preferences, add remove software, and we're going to put Cody in again. Enter. And as always, whenever you download a program, I, I recommend re rebooting uh, your Pi uh, before actually running the uh, before running the uh, program. So, see the box that's checked. We're going to uncheck it this time. We're going to hit Apply. Um, in a second, we'll have to do the password again. Uh, so, continue. Password. Enter, and I'll show you in a second that it was removed. So yeah, they they've made all this stuff very user friendly. Um, I know a lot of you guys are a little hesitant about uh, diving in and uh, you know playing with Linux or Raspberry and Raspberry Pi and so on. So now you see the box is no longer checked. Close out of that. We're going to come back over here, down to where we found it before, and it's gone. That easy, guys. Not a big deal whatsoever. Um, and let me open up GQRX so I can show you it does work. Um, give it a second. It'll pop up, and then we'll start the program. Uh, I last left it on a radio station uh, locally here in town, 95.3. Um, and there you go. Um, everything works completely fine. Uh, no issues whatsoever. Uh, so let me, uh, let me close out of that. And uh, for some reason lately, I've actually been enjoying uh, this SDR program here. And I'll open it for you. 
wait for it to search for devices. It found my RTL dongle. Uh, click on that. Hit start. And come over here and same 95.3. And there you go. Uh, let's put it uh, right on the frequency there. But for some reason lately, I get in weird moods, but uh, I've been preferring this SDR program lately. Um, and you can see the signals there. It looks uh, looks really nice. Uh, let's see, this station's a little on the weak side. I'm not hearing too much. Um, I do have a telescopic antenna on the back of my SDR dongle. Uh, that I just picked up and I'm going to extend it all the way up Let's see if we get that signal a little stronger there which it doesn't seem like it uh, doesn't seem like it improved it too much but we're going to see if we can find this other radio station okay 104.9 uh, let's see Yeah, it looks like that one's pretty strong. Um, although I'm getting um, getting a terrible waterfall display there. Um, let's uh, let's go back. Um, uh, Ninety-five uh, point three. There we go. But there you go, guys. Um, I hope everything I showed you um, helps you out and I'm sure a lot of you guys that uh, uh, play with the Raspberry Pi on a constant basis probably knows all this it's not a big deal for you but uh, basically making a lot of these videos to uh, to show guys there's no reason to uh, get discouraged and um, dive right in it's a lot of fun so uh, let me close out of this and uh you guys take care and uh see you in the next video so